This video will show you how to create and format references for a book in the Coventry University Harvard style, both in-text citations and the full bibliographic reference for your list of references. An in-text citation is the reference you provide in the main body of your document. It usually goes at the end of the sentence before the full stop, although there are many ways to integrate sources into your writing. These are the parts of an average in-text citation. In brackets, you need the author's surname, the year of publication, and if you are quoting, the page number. Here we can see how to format this in the text. As you can see, there are several ways to incorporate the reference, but the most common is at the end of the sentence. The most important information, and the only information that you need to include, is the surname of the author and the year of publication. There is no comma or initials included, and when the page number is included, there is no P before the number. The slightly more complicated part of referencing a book is the list of references at the end of your work. This requires slightly more information, but unlike in-text citations, they are the same every time. These are the elements of every reference for a book. Some of this information can be slightly difficult to find, but will all be on either the cover or the title page. For this book, Mental Health and Crime, the author's full name and title are clearly on the front. However, on this page there is a lot of information and you need to extract just three things. The date it was published, the name of the publisher and the place in which it was published. The first two here are very simple as they are at the top. It was published in 2011 and the publisher is Routledge. You can see also that the date of publication is in the middle next to the author's name as part of the copyright notice. The place of publication is slightly more difficult in this case as there are two places listed, Abingdon and New York. In such cases, in the Coventry University style, we use the place which is listed first. In this case, it is Abingdon. Remember that we want to use the name of the city or the town and not the state or the country. Now let's put all this information together. We start with the surname, followed by a comma, followed by the author's initial or initials, and then a full stop. The full stop is there to show that the name has been abbreviated. Then comes the date in brackets, followed by the full title of the book. This goes in italics to show that it is the name of the publication, followed by a full stop, and then the town in which it was published, a colon, and finally the name of the publisher. The Coventry University Style Guide does not include a full stop at the end of the, end of the reference. Here we have our final reference, which as you can see also has what's called a hanging indent. This is where the bottom line is indented from the top line. And that's how to reference an authored book. For a full guide to the Coventry University Harvard's referencing system, please see our website. And for queries, please contact the Centre for Academic Writing.